You must be our newest student. Welcome to Solaris, the Academy of Elemental Magic. My name is Miriam Storm. I am the Master Elementalist. Have a seat. So, you want to become one of us, an Elementalist? Why? A simple question. Yet you struggle to give me an answer. Hmm. Good. I've heard enough. Becoming an elementalist is extremely difficult. That is why I ask for everyone who chooses this path to tell me their reasons. I believe yours are... Sufficient. Do you know how many elementalists are currently active in the Empire of Kroras? Fifty-one, indeed. Twenty-six waterists. Eleven earthists. Eight firists and six airists. Today you will pass your first test. If you succeed, and only then, you will be confronted to a series of other tests that will determine your elementogram. It is important to know your strengths and your weaknesses before going down the path to become an elementalist. Today's test include a series of general questions about the elements. Are you ready? First question, the easiest. What are the primary elements an elementalist can control? Earth, air, fire and water. That is correct. Now, what are the secondary elements and what primary elements are they linked with? Mm -hmm. Ice linked with water, yes. Mm -hmm. Metal linked with earth, correct. Lightning linked with fire. And the last one? Light, linked with air. All correct. What is the particularity of the air elementalists? Better known as the airists. Correct. They are the only one who can teleport. If they develop their light magic, of course. Well, you seem to know your basic. Now let's see about more detailed knowledge. If a waterist threw a 10 meters wave at you, which spell would you use? Don't forget, fire magic is not what you want to use as first intention against water magic. Unless you have developed your heat magic and you can boil the water. But it is not the case in this situation. You should use a reverse landslide spell for this one. The water will block on the earth wall you created, and your opponent's spell will backfire. Don't worry. It's a very common mistake. Now, what would happen if I used a Neuradian spell on you, right here, right now? Nothing, exactly. No magic can be used inside the academy buildings, unless you're having a class. We had too many incidents. Voluntary or not. Some of our students have a hard time controlling their powers once they've developed them. 
Another question now. What kind of familiar can the elementalist summon? Thyris can summon salamanders, correct. Winterist can summon eagles. Waterist can summon sharks. And earthist can summon wolves and snakes. All correct. Perfect. Now maybe more personal questions. Which element are you most drawn to? Hmm. Hmm. I see. And if you had to describe yourself, would you say you are more patient or impatient? Reckless or careful? Affectionate or cold? And finally, what do you think of the use of the magical artifacts or weapons in the elementalism discipline? No, I'm not writing. This wasn't part of the test. I just wanted to have your opinion on this. Me? I am a waterist. My strongest spell is the whole frost sanguini. But I never use it anymore. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Because all of my enemies have been defeated. <laughs> Now let's get back to you. You passed the first test. Now... You will get to meet the primary elements. Be careful of what you say when you're among them. They are easily offended. They will test you to see if you have the merit of becoming an elementalist. But do not fear. If they deem you unable to become one, you will just come back here unarmed. Do you see the mirror behind me? This is a magic portal. It will lead you to them. Now go. I will see you when you are done. <laughs>